Bye. Welcome back. A new production is headed to the Harbison Theater at Midlands Tech this weekend called Thank You for the Music, and it's presented by Ensemble Eclectica. And here with all the details that we need are the artistic and music director, Susanna Pavlovsky, and the MC for the evening, Clayton Kane. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. This sounds great. Uh, so it's Thank You for the Music, correct? Thank you for the music. What can we expect? Oh my goodness, you can expect a musical extravaganza. That's the easiest way to start the conversation. Thank You for the Music is based on music from ABBA, so that'll be featured. We will have tango dancers, we will have mambo dancers, we will have uh, strings, orchestral music. Um, there will be a gentleman who is painting live on stage as the show is going oh, on. Wow. It's a little bit of everything. And of course, we have the technology from the Harvison Theater. So all of that together just promises to be a really spectacular show. That's great. And how long will this be running? One night. One night only. One night. Wow. All right. So we got to put it all into one performance. <laughs> exactly. And if I can add to what Clayton just said, it's going to be pre-show performance as well. So it's going to be not only two hours of the show itself, of the production itself, but the whole hour once the doors open. So the official time is 7.30. We're going to open the doors at 6.30. We will have an exhibit of the visual artist who will be greeting people and also we will have an incredible guitar duo who will be playing live music while people get in, get situated, the check tickets in. get for check-in. Yeah. So it's going to be the whole hour before the show and then about two hours of the show. Okay, fantastic. And you said most of the music, primarily the music of ABBA. And of Mm. Primarily? No, we can't even say primarily, but we're going to open with it. Okay. We're going to close with it. There you go. And then we're going to fill in the middle with Latin and Italian and... And Brazilian. Brazilian. Okay. There may so, even yeah. be a Lady Gaga appearance. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> it'll all be there. Oh, that's, that's outstanding. And so is it mostly going to be musical performances or will there be any sort of uh, like a storyline going through this nope. or anything like no that? No storyline. This, this is not a musical. Okay. So there's not a, a script or a plot. It is just a combination of all the different performing arts disciplines showing up at one time on the same stage at, at Harvest. That's fantastic. Connected by one main theme, the music. The music. The music, that's right. So it brings it all together. And it's so interesting, you know, when you talk about each of those different genres of music have something to offer. So this show yep. really will have something for everybody. It I really mean, will. Yeah. You, know, you were talking about the Latin, Latin Dance Festival yeah. this weekend. So I think, okay, people can go to the Latin Dance Festival and then they can come out to Harbison and they can watch Latin Dance <laughs> yeah. and see what it's really all about. Why not? It sounds like a great time. And I it's going to be the air conditioning at Harbison, so they can <laughs> cool off after they come from outside There's to that. inside. There's yeah, that. no, that's great. So all in all, you said about a two-hour program, mm -hmm. but there is that pre-show, mm -hmm. which is great. How much are we talking for tickets? They start at $35. Okay. You can visit the EnsembleEclectica.org website, um, and there are links there for you to purchase tickets. Or you can buy them at the door. Okay. Um, either way, at 6.30 is when the door will open and you can either check in or purchase your ticket. You mentioned the Harbison Theater and a, a place like that to perform, all of the resources that are available for you. What are some of the things that people can expect from that venue especially? Um, more than anything, I think, is that there's really not a bad seat in the house. Um, the, the stadium seating is such that everybody has a very clear view of the stage. You've got amazing technology, and Chris and Christine, I'll give them a shout out, up in the booth, make all the magic happen. They're amazing. That's great. Have you done this performance in other cities, and is it just coming through, or where is this primarily shown? Is it here locally? Or? Ensemble Eclectica yeah. is a baby. Okay. So we are a very young organization. Just started out. So w not exactly. This will be our seventh year in existence. It okay. will be our sixth show. But the goal is to spread out. So, yeah. so far we have been performing only in Columbia, but the goal is to get us to Charleston, maybe Spoleto. I'm d am I dreaming big? No. Charlotte, <laughs> Augusta, Greenville. We're going to start locally and hopefully get recognition. Sure. Can't wait. Can't wait. I can't wait to and see you And you're invited to come. Oh, that'll be fantastic. That'll be great. Please do. And uh, it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic performance. What would you say is the most gratifying part of being able to participate in something like this? 
I have my thoughts. What are yours? What is the most gratifying part mm -hmm. from my perspective? To bring happiness to people, yeah. to make people enjoy the art, to educate a little bit because I'm an educator in heart and by profession, to teach them something new, to introduce new people. And one of my missions for this group was to celebrate local talent that Colombia is so fortunate to have. So the goal is to bring local visual artists, local performers, uh, local dancers, all coming together, um, showing off their skills. Mm -hmm. These are people who live and work in this community, which I think it's very important to give recognition and to learn the names because they go out and perform in different states and different stages. But somehow there is a stigma, if you wish, that local is not good enough. So mm. our goal is to bring local the best so yeah. people would enjoy it. I there, think there's an abundance of talent in the Midlands. Yeah. Um, and this is a great opportunity to show that when you're talking about personal um, goals and such, yeah. it's the collaboration. Yeah. I love collaborating with people of all these disciplines to come together and just put on a show for the people. Uh -huh. It's a great thing. Well, can't wait. It will be fantastic. And again, we're going to show you the information for what is going to be a great night of music at the Harbison Theater. Thank you for the music happening Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Tickets start at $35. For more information, SodaCityLive.com. We look forward to it. Should be good. Can't wait. And uh, I guess, as they say, thank you for the music. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for thank having, you for having us. I you appreciate bet. it. All right. Plenty more ahead on Soda City Live. We'll be right back after this.